Welcome to Starkey at a Glance. My name is Judy Gropstein and I'm the manager of education and audiology at Starkey Australia. And I'm here today to talk to you about Starkey Hearing Technologies cross system, who's a candidate and how to program it within the Inspire Fitting software. Let's start by describing who your typical cross by cross patient candidate is. A cross patient has one ear that's completely unaidable, meaning that ear has a profound hearing loss or no response at all, as you see here on the right side. Now, if you're fitting this system as a cross, which stands for contralateral routing of signal, that means that they have one unaidable side and the other side, in this case, the left ear, has completely normal hearing. The fitting will be done as a bicross, which stands for binaural contralateral routing of signal. If they not only have the unaidable side on one ear, which in this case is the right, but the better ear actually has some degree of hearing loss, which is aidable, as you see here on the left side. Now a cross system consists of two components. The first being a transmitter. The transmitter is worn on the unaidable side and it's simply just a microphone to stream the signal from the unaidable ear over to the better ear. The other component is called a receiver. The receiver is just a traditional hearing aid and that's gonna be worn on the better side, whether it's normal or an aidable hearing loss. The microphone will be on or off depending on if you're fitting it as a cross or by cross system. Our newest range of our cross system is the Livio cross system. The Livio cross is available in the Livio AI, which is the premium 2400 level, as well as the traditional Livios in the 2400, 2000, 1600, and introduced late last year, the 1200 level as well. The style options available for the Livio cross system will include the RIC 312, the BTE 13, as well as the RIC rechargeable. Now, it is a requirement that the receiver and transmitter style be the same. So in other words, if you're fitting a BTE 13, you have to fit that on both the receiver and transmitter side. Now, the technology that we use for our cross system is NFMI or near field magnetic induction. And that's the wireless technology that we're using to stream the signal from the transmitter side over to the receiver side. You can see here that the battery life expectation will depend on the size of the hearing aid. And with the RIC rechargeable, because it is streaming constantly as they wear it, they will get approximately 14 hours. Now, if you're fitting the Livio cross system with the Livio AI, the thing that makes the Livio AI unique is that it has onboard sensor technology. Now, this technology allows us to do our healthable features such as brain and body tracking, fall alerts, and the double tap user control. This sensor technology will only be applicable on the receiver side of the cross system. The universal transmitter will not contain that sensor technology. The transmitter is tier agnostic, meaning it doesn't have a technology tier to it as it's simply just a microphone. As I said earlier, the style of the transmitter must match the receiver and it will have independent directionality and noise control on that transmitter side. Now, programming of the Livio cross system is quite easy. When you first enter the software with the receiver and transmitter, you will automatically pair them together as a cross system. So once you tick the box for both, enter the software, it will then see that as a cross system. Now, if you have a, a receiver, a hearing aid that was fit as a traditional hearing aid and you decide to add a transmitter later on to fit it as a cross system, it will recognize and retain any previous settings that were in that hearing aid. One good thing is after the devices are paired on the initial fitting, you no longer need to connect the transmitter for follow-up appointments. As I said, the transmitter is simply a microphone, so there's no necessary programming adjustments that will need to take place on that side. Now, when you enter the software, you'll see that on the left navigation bar, there is a new screen option called cross by cross. You'll also notice on any screen that the 
transmitter side, in this case the right side, will have no fitting curves, again, as it's simply just a microphone, there's no amplification on that side. Now, one thing that's great about the Starkey Cross system is it gives you, as the provider, a lot of flexibility on how you're setting it up for your patient. So you have the option to choose per memory whether you want the mode to be hearing aid only, cross, or by cross. So as you click in the software when you're programming your memories, it will give you the ability to select one of these three options. Now you're gonna program it in cross mode for that particular memory. Again, if it's a cross patient, meaning that they have normal hearing on the left side, so you don't need a microphone on that left side. You don't need any amplification. So if fit as a cross mode in that memory, that means the microphone is on on the transmitter side to send the signal from the right side, the transmitter over to the receiver. But again, on the left side, that microphone would be turned off. If you're fitting it in bi-cross mode, that means that both microphones are going to be turned on. So you obviously need the microphone on the transmitter side to stream the signal across, but because the left ear has aidable hearing loss, we're going to need the microphone on that side as well to provide the appropriate amplification. Now you have a third option of hearing aid only. Now you'll want to do this for several situations. And one primary situation would be if say you have a cross patient perhaps, but their poorer side is facing a noisy situation. Maybe it's facing a car window, they like to drive with the window down. And in that case, they wouldn't want that noise coming from the window streamed from the poor side, the transmitter side over to the better ear. So in that case, what you could do is give them a memory designated as hearing aid only, and it would turn on the microphone only on the receiver side so they could perhaps hear somebody else in the car or the radio. So it's nice to have that flexibility. Now I'll also mention that should the patient have an accessory or a telephone memory, that will automatically set to hearing aid only because they wouldn't need the microphone on on the transmitter side in that case. You'll also notice if you fit it as a bi-cross mode, in that memory, you have the option to use a balance control. So you'll wanna check with your patient and when you're programming the hearing aids with the Livio Cross system, it is automatically streaming from the transmitter to the receiver while you're actively programming. So you can check with the patient to make sure that it's coming in balanced. So you wanna make sure that one side isn't coming in louder than the other. Think of it as a seesaw. If you go up on one side, it's gonna go down on the other. So if, for instance, they say that it's coming in a bit louder on the receiver side, you can go one step up in the direction of the receiver, in which case it will go one step down in the direction of the transmitter. So as you move to each tick on the uh, slide there, that will be one dB up in that direction, one dB down in the opposite direction. Now you have several user control options available on the cross system and it's important to note that the user controls are available for both the receiver and transmitter so they can um, access on either of the devices. However, the double tap user control would only be available on a receiver if they have the Livio AI device with that sensor technology. An ear to ear function will apply automatically. As a reminder, if you mute on the receiver side, it will mute the entire system. Now, when setting the user control, you can see that you have your normal options available, which you can simply drag into the option of short press or push and hold, but you have an additional option if you're setting it up as a bi-cross where you can set the, a balance control as a user control. So in this case, it gives them the option to balance it on their own via their onboard user control. So if, for instance, they felt that the right side was coming in louder than the left, if they press that user control, the right side would go up and the left side would go down 1 dB. Now, when it comes to the rechargeable cross system, we do have a feature of an auto shutdown. So if they are not using the transmitter and it detects that it hasn't been connected for over 30 minutes, it will automatically power down the transmitter to save them some battery life. 
as a reminder in the rechargeable cross system, the RIC R rechargeable cross, the battery life expectation is approximately 14 hours. Again, as they're wearing it throughout the day, it's constantly streaming from the transmitter to the receiver. Now, if they get towards the end of the day and they need some additional hours, I would recommend that they get the mini turbocharger that you see on the bottom of the screen there. With a mini turbocharger, if their battery life is less than 20% and they place the devices on the mini turbocharger, in just seven minutes time, it will give them additional battery life to last them through the rest of the day. Now, what's nice is the Thrive hearing control app is compatible with the Cross system. So when it comes to pairing to the smartphone, if they have an Apple smartphone, an iPhone, then they will only need to pair the receiver side. It's not a requirement to pair the transmitter side. If it's an Android device, they do require that both the receiver and transmitter be paired to the phone. Now, um, the Thrive app will only show the receiver side, so it will appear to be a monorail fit. And again, that's because there's no amplification going on on that transmitter side. Remote programming via our Hearing Care Anywhere system is available with the Livio Cross system. Now, if they have a mode of, of Bicross on one of their memories, it will give the option through the Thrive app to have some adjustability of the Cross system. And what they're capable of doing is balancing the transmitter and the receiver, as well as muting the transmitter if they so desired. The way to do that is to use the dot on the bottom of the Thrive app screen and just scroll over to give the option of the um, Bicross system as you see here. Now for more information on our Cross system fitting protocol, we do have uh, several quick tips available and you can access our quick tips either from starkeypro.com or from the Inspire online homepage. Thank you for watching Starkey at a Glance. For more information on this topic and others, please feel free to contact us at 1-800-024-985 or reach out directly to your product specialist.